Hello, how are you? And welcome back to the vlog on a rainy day. No, by British standards, this is drizzling. But it is wet and we've had wetness for uh, the last two nights. And as I look round, I'm going to show you in a minute, the brown, yeah, what was grass, I think will be coming back to being green. So, uh, in the past uh, week or so, I've been putting out a few more emails from the newsletter account with uh, exclusive content and behind the scenes and uh, smaller videos. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, if you do, can you let us know? Either by dropping us a comment below when you see this or maybe on the newsletter itself. If you subscribe, and by the way, if you want to subscribe, it's free. And the link is below. Two weeks ago, uh, I posted both on the blog and also uh, on the newsletter a short uh, report really about um, some dubious behavior at the Banyaluka airport. There was a hire car company from Mostar, which is quite a way away from us operating there. And we had some guests, some people that were we were gonna look after uh, who came from France, Soufien and his wife Fatima and his super family. Uh, and when they got to the airport, there was no car waiting for them. Uh, they got stitched up. But thank you very much to Control Rent-A-Car from here in Banja Luka, who Arzo and his teams, they sorted Sufyan and Fatima and the family out very quickly. And they've had a blast of a holiday and they went the other day. Uh, it's so nice to see people coming here to BIH. Well, in the garden, we have, or Tam's father has now taken off the covers from uh, what's left of the uh, the vegetables. Doesn't need any protection from the sun now. And as you can see, um, yeah, there's a lot of color, but it doesn't look as disciplined as it normally does. And that's because we haven't been able to get out here uh, and do anything. But I think you'll agree with me. Um, this uh, few downpours of rain are gonna be uh, making life um, a lot lot better. There's also been some burning we managed to get some burning done last night, or Tam's father does. I keep saying we, it's not me, is it? It's um, Tam's dad. So burning some of the leaves, and I'm sure as we get into autumn, there'll be a lot more of that. People don't burn too much up in uh, Northern Europe anymore. I don't know, maybe for environmental reasons, but it's still very much um, uh, done here. And Tam and I went off on a micro adventure to Slatina which is a spa village, or a small town actually, not too far from us, about 20 minutes drive away. Um, yeah, and this is what we got up to. Today's trip is? Kulo, Knudels of Bosnia. <laughs> We're going to see some balls, aren't some, we? Some uh, stone uh, kulos, or how do you say balls? Balls, yeah. Near? Near Slatina, by near Slatina. Luka. Which is not far from us. How far is Slatina from us, do you think? 20 minute drive? Yeah, something like that. The top of it. The top of Slatina. About 20 minute drive. Okay, so let's enjoy. Or maybe less, depending on the traffic. Let's enjoy a bit of a drive to Slatina. The weather's a little bit overcast, oh, which is nice, I have to say. So that's what we're going to look for. The stone globes. 300 meters into the woods and this is the main road between Slatina and Banyaluka. Banyaluka is down that way and Slatina is that way and that's what we're looking for that sign We've been watching a lot of Netflix, really. 
recently and all the programs seem to <laughs> are uh, focused in woods with monsters and all sorts of naughtiness and we are calm on <laughs> and Tamara is normally scared of walking alone in woods I have you now you said you would give your life for me I said I'd give my life for you So the path seems to be reasonably good, which is nice. And this is 20 minutes drive from where we live. And we wanted to come here and Zoran Matic, who we featured in a podcast and he has a book about all the cool things to do, not only in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but here as well. He said, you have to come and see this. So this is like a micro adventure. See the marks? There's red and white marks on the trees. Like Hansel and Gretel with the bread breadcrumbs. Yeah. I don't think you could get here in the winter because of the snow. What do you think? Tamara. It's walking uphill on the way back. Or maybe a Bosnian 300 meters isn't everybody else's 300 meters. They meant 3,000 meters, but the one zero, but What do you think about that? See, we're going to go all the way back up there. So quiet, isn't it? Funny. There it is. Google that way. Flat in that way, 25 minutes. Google and flat. That way. And here it is. Look at this big boy. Holy. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's the ball. Yep, a big stone ball. So quiet. I thought there were more. Just the one. Just one. Mm-hmm. So do you feel on top of the world? I am, I thought you were taking pictures. I'm on top of the Banja Luka Kugel. The Slatina Kugel. It's near Banja Luka anyways. What do you think people used to do with this? I have no idea. What are they meant to be? No idea. But it's a bit like the pyramids, isn't it? Yeah. Something amazing. In the middle of uh, the forest Len, in Slatina, what do you think of my new t-shirt? Smianya. Present from your VP. From you? Yes. Yeah. So it's my new t-shirt and we're in the middle of the forest here, not far from Slatina. When you come out of the town uh, towards Banja Luka, it's on the left hand side. Be careful and don't drive too fast otherwise you'll miss the sign like you most probably saw that we did. Tamara said, it's there. But yeah, 
there are these or this huge ball and I think it's a little bit more than 300 meters wouldn't you say how long do you ring do you think it really is do you think it's 300 yeah, meters know. yeah it is most probably yeah yeah so we've come out short walk in the woods I think you can walk a lot further there's signposts that say that you can go from um, where we turn right to come down to see this big stone ball uh, you can also go across to Banja Luka so maybe it's a long walk in the woods good five kilometers maybe I don't know maybe we'll check I that out this is the road where you get from Trappistic to Slatina really so this could be so it could be the road from the monastery through that to Slatina there, I think I'm not sure well that'd be good we're gonna do that road we're gonna do that hiking as well we're gonna hike that yeah when my mother comes back from uh, Kotor, yeah. and we'll go, because okay. she wants to go. Right, so we'll leave some links to where you can find this, and uh, a Google Map link as we'll well. We'll also put some information about it. And some more information, so, yeah. We just jumped in the car today. Tam came back from shopping and said, let's go and see the ball. So we went to see the ball. So Why don't the they road. call it the Slatina Yaya? I don't know. There's only one Yaya in this yeah, country. Yeah, because it looks more There's like There's only a... one Yaya in this country, and you know So, really. yeah. A nice walk in the woods in Slatina to see that huge uh, ball. Um, people say that they have um, healing properties. If you touch them, for example, that um, you'll get better. If you believe that, good for you. I don't know whether that's true or not. I do know that we've been to the Bosnian pyramids down um, near Visoko. And we have friends that haven't been too well and have been in there and suddenly got better. So the jury's out um, for me at the moment. Despite all the heat, we've still managed to get and keep some colour in the garden. Windfalls. See? All this is going to turn green soon. We'll have grass back. Leaves. First sign of autumn. What do you think? And I like these. I haven't got a clue what these are. Maybe you can let, uh, let me know. I'm sure if I ask Tam's mum, she will tell me straight away. But she's not here. And we'll just go down here little see no laundry raining i'm getting wet let's see how the grapes are coming on well we're getting there aren't we pity we didn't get any plums from down there be a massive drive to pick up all these windfalls soon the apples will uh Look at that. No pesticides on that. But uh, the apples, especially these green ones here, see how they're falling off? All these little things here, they can turn into rakia, into apple brandy. And look down here bursting with colour. Absolutely bursting with colour. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Do you know, in I never seem to know what the the names of all these are. Yep. Life for me. And you know why I'm looking down, because I don't want to slip. But weren't those red apples really stunning? The colour, I mean. Let's uh, walk back. Okay, that's a short vlog for today. I've been speaking to people recently who have actually said... Uh, they like all the all the updates. Uh, Lana, 
who is an avid reader of the newsletter, lives at the moment in uh, Naples, Florida, has been back to Banyaluka with Victor, and they're buying a property. I won't give too much away. But Alana said, I do like the simple things, you know, just uh, walking around uh, the garden. And to Shay, who's in Denver, Colorado, sent me a very nice uh, email. And if you want to uh, send an email, it's an Englishman in the Balkans. That's all one word at gmail.com. And he said, I'm an avid fan of the podcast, the vlog, the blog and the newsletter. Do you know what that does? That makes me get really inspired. And we know that we're not uh, YouTube experts or Vimeo experts or anything, but it's just to try and show you the life that we have. And uh, yeah, if it makes you happy, that makes Tam and me happy. We're gonna do a lot more. We've uh, got our sort of like plan of action, but uh, when I was uh, in the military, they always said, uh, no plan survives first contact with the enemy. Which means for us, that we can plan as much as possible, but if something else comes up, we'll do that. So, thank you very much indeed for watching. I know it's a slightly longer video stroke vlog this week, but yeah. See you soon. Stay safe wherever you are. These still are, remember, still challenging times.